Hello friends, this video on digestion and absorption part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this in mind, we will now talk about each part of the alimentary canal. So we will talk about their structure, we will talk about their function, we will also talk about their specific role in the process of digestion. So we will start this discussion with mouth and buccal cavity. So let us first talk about mouth. Now I don't really need to tell you what is mouth. You all know that, right? So it is basically the anterior end of the alimentary canal. That is anterior is always the front end and posterior is the something towards the back. So if you see here, this is the starting point of the alimentary canal. So this is the anterior end. It is a slit like structure which is bounded by movable lips. So if you see, it is like, um, you can consider it like, a, you can say a cave which has a door and that door is nothing but your movable lips. So if you close your lips, so your mouth is shut, nothing can go inside the mouth. When you open your lips, when you open your mouth wide, in that case the doors are open and something can be put inside. So that means it is kind of a slit or an opening through which you can send materials inside your body. So how does mouth help in the process of digestion? It helps in the process of ingestion, that is intake of food. So whatever we eat, we eat it through mouth. So the purpose of mouth or the purpose of this opening, which is guarded by the pair of movable lips, is that it helps us to put the food inside our body. So it helps in intake of food. This leads to the buccal cavity. So from the mouth, so once you eat something, Okay, so that food goes through your mouth and then it gets into the cavity inside your mouth. So all of you can feel the open space inside your mouth, right? Where you have your teeth, where you have your tongue. So there is an open kind of space. So if you want to try it for yourself, just roll out your tongue inside. You can actually feel some open space. So that cavity is the oral cavity, which is also known as buccal cavity. So whenever you put the food inside your mouth, it goes into the buccal cavity. So let us see what is the buccal cavity. So here you can see this entire open, I mean this open space inside the mouth is buccal cavity. So inside the buccal cavity again, you have many different parts which are important, which play an important role in the process of digestion. So one of them is the teeth. The saliva, what is saliva? Inside your mouth, so you often feel the presence of a watery substance inside your mouth while speaking, while you are sitting simply or while you are eating something or when you see uh, some tasty food near you and you feel like eating it. So your mouth starts to water. So from where does that water come inside your mouth? So that water which you always feel inside your oral cavity that is nothing but saliva. So teeth, saliva, tongue. So you all know what is tongue. So these three parts play a very important role. They are all located in the buccal cavity and they play a very important role in the process of digestion. So now we will see, now we are going to talk about each of them in detail. So let us start with teeth. So what does it do? Teeth help to crush food into pieces. For example, you would have seen that people who are quite elderly, I mean, who are quite old and they tend to lose their teeth when they are old. Maybe uh, if you look at somebody who is almost 80 or 90 years old, they generally don't have teeth. Not all of them, but many of them. And you would have seen that they find it difficult to chew things because they do not have teeth. Right? So if you give them something which is very hard, they'll, be, they'll not be able to eat it. Because since they do not have teeth, they cannot break it down into uh, a simple form and they cannot swallow it. So without crushing down something, you just cannot swallow it. For example, those who are non-vegetarian, they also tend to eat some uh, harder portion of uh, the animal. For example, the bone and all. So if they do not have teeth, they will not be able to break it down and then swallow it. So teeth helps to crush food into pieces. So that means it actually helps to break down that uh, hard food into at least a, a better form. Even though the carbohydrate is still the carbohydrate, but at least the form in which we are taking in the food, which is very hard, tough and rigid, at, at least that is break, being broken down into a simple form. When you 
talk about saliva, food is moistened and made softer. So as I said, saliva is a watery kind of substance which is present inside the mouth. Now when we eat something, first teeth will chew it, it will break it down into simpler form. Now due to the presence of the saliva or the watery substance, the water will make it even more softer. Right? So it will become softer and saliva also contains an enzyme called salivary amylase which helps to convert starch into sugar. That means it helps to convert polysaccharides into simple sugars. So we will talk about that little later that how this conversion takes place. But that is something very important. So here just inside your mouth itself. You are breaking down the food into simpler form with the help of teeth. Also, some of the polysaccharides are getting converted into disaccharides or monosaccharides, whatever. And also, since saliva is a watery substance, it is it helps to make the food softer so that it is easier to swallow. And you have to swallow it in order to send it to the other parts of the alimentary canal like the stomach, intestine and all. The last one is tongue. It is a movable organ again and it contains taste buds to sense the taste of food. The tongue, without tongue you will not be able to feel whether the food is sweet or salt or sour in taste. So it helps you to sense the taste and also since the tongue is movable it also helps to push the food inside your uh, food pipe. So the movement of the uh, tongue also helps in um, move I mean sending the food inside your body so that means teeth saliva and tongue three of them are very important when we are talking about the buccal cavity so now we will talk about each of these in detail so first we will take up teeth thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.